Hello, this is Jeff from System Trader Success, and in this video, I want to demonstrate the use of the expectancy optimizer function. This function can be utilized in your trade station strategy code when you're optimizing over a particular parameter and you want to optimize over the expectancy score as opposed to other popular um, parameters such as net profit or average trade or um, you know profit factor. Those are the canned um, values used in TradeStation. So by inserting this function within your strategy code, you can easily, or I should say more easily, optimize over expectancy score. So what I have here is an example trading system. It trades the EC market, the Euro futures, on a five minute bar. It's a basic uh, kind of a momentum strategy. And what I want to add to here is a longer term um, market regime filter. In other words, this trades on a five minute bar, but what I want to do is apply a simple moving average to the daily chart, maybe a 100 or a 200 period moving average, and to divide that market into a bullish or bearish mode based on where the price is relative to the moving average. It's above the 200 period moving average, let's say. It's bullish. If it's below it, it's bearish. And what we want to do is optimize over that look back period. So let's look at the strategy code. This is the code here. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Okay, here we are at the bottom of our strategy code. And what we're looking at is this code right here. Here we have our expectancy optimizer function call. It is going to return a value. We have it going into another dummy type value, a dummy variable because we're not going to use this at all. What we're interested in are the inputs. This first input is true or false, indicating if we want to send the optimized results to a Excel-based file or not. This is going to be the path name and the file name of the um, Excel file. And this last parameter is going to be the value of the parameter that we're optimizing. In this case, we're looking at that regime look back period. So that's what we're passing in. So once you have this in your strategy code at the bottom, you're ready to use it. Let's go see that. OK, here are the inputs. And what I want to do is, well, you know what, first before, let me show you. Here's the right to file and the file name where um, I have those inputs which the function is going to use. And here is our regime look back. Uh, let's optimize over 0 to 200 in increments of 50. 0 meaning we're going to turn off the regime filter. And the other values are just going to be the uh, daily look back period. So what we're actually doing is comparing various look back periods with no regime filter. So we can get a, a good view of uh, what's going on there. So we'll let this optimize and uh, pause this and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, we just finished up here. Let's go take a look at our hard drive. And here is the file that was created, uh, Euro Breakout. And let's double click that and it opens up the Excel spreadsheet. You can see this is really a simple spreadsheet. The first column is going to be our look back period. So we went from 0 to 200 and then the next is going to be the expectancy expectancy, and then followed by the expectancy score. So a regime look back of 0, which means disabling the regime filter, actually produced the highest expectancy score. You will notice that the highest expectancy is with a look back of 150 but the score is reduced a little bit to 7.6. This reflects our opportunity. Um, in other words, the opportunity of, uh, of our system to take trades has been reduced. So this is our score. This is really what we'd be interested in. Now, you could see why is it zero repeated again? Well, what happens when the optimization is res um, completed? TradeStation my default is it's looking for the highest profit factor and it also then picked that as zero regime look back and then so it plugs that in reruns the system and uh, exits the optimization with the best value so the last score here is actually going to be 
um, the best value that TradeStation picked based on um, whatever you have um, configured for. So let's just delete that. So this is what it looks like. And of course, you could have a large string of values. So you could go in, of course, and use all of um, um, Excel's ability to um, sort the data. But we, there's no real need to do that for such a small small piece of data set here. And of course, you could generate uh, graphs on these or whatnot. So this is the expectancy score. And if you wanted to save this, I would recommend actually going File, Save As, and um, saving this off. Because what happens if we go back and re-optimize again? Well, what's going to happen is it's going to tack on values below this and more values below that until you have one big mess. So there's no, the system doesn't automatically delete the previous Excel document. So if you find this, this information worthwhile, go ahead and save it right now into another file. But um, that's it. That's a simple explanation of how this works. Here's example once again inside of our strategy code and I hope you find it useful. If you're watching this video on YouTube or some other location, be sure to check out SystemTraderSuccess.com for a bunch more tips and tools and free strategy code and free tools like this to help you build a profitable trading system. Thanks much.